Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share a compilation of all of the little things that have been going on in our home. I don't have a finished room just yet, but we are nearly there with the living room. Um, almost there with the living room. I'm kind of looking at it right now. I'm like, the only thing that's left for the living room is the painting. You can see there's still yellow behind me. So the only thing that's left is the painting. Everything is, everything else is here. The flooring is done. Um, our furniture came in. Um, I picked up this amazing table from Facebook Marketplace. Wait till I show you. Um, I've done minor styling just to kind of get the gist of things and lighting came in. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to not share the living room reveal just yet. I'm going to show you the stages of the progress of what is happening so far. We are, we're technically working room by room and sort of stopping and going so we can get a lot more accomplished that way. I know it's not everybody's process. They love to do one room at a time, but I'm kind of impatient. And so I kind of want to speed things up. So we, we start a room, we do a good bulk of it, and then we go hit another room and then do the same thing. So wash, rinse, repeat. And we actually are getting a lot more accomplished that way. So for whatever that means, if that, if that is something that works, I mean, it's working for us. Um, friends come in and go, wow, you got so much accomplished in such a short period of time. In three weeks, we already have our living room, our floorings done, our lighting's done. Um, so yeah, we are tackling as much as we can. Well, anyway, let me stop rambling and let me share with you all of the progress so far, the current living condition, and all of the updates, all of the new things that have been taking place. It's very exciting. So keep on watching. Okay guys, I might have shared this with you already, but these are the planks. These are LVP planks. They are the clip and snap. This is cut in the color Dusk Cherry. Um, they have beautiful grain. They look so much like real wood and feel like real wood, especially when you touch it, you feel the grain. Um, this is a beautiful flooring and we're going to go ahead. It's a weird shape. We're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, everyone, this is the table that I got from Facebook Marketplace just last night. It is absolutely incredible. I first thought that this was a restoration hardware um, table and it is not. In fact, restoration hardware has mimicked this table. This is a coquina stone table and I had no idea what that was until I looked it up. But these are embedded seashells all throughout the table and it is on this beautiful wrought iron t-frame so without revealing my living room because this is going to be a whole separate video on its own because it is so good you guys have to stay tuned and watch that video i paid 150 dollars for this table yesterday and i don't know if the lady knew what she had or not but these tables are very very expensive and extremely sought after um, my new couch is right in front of me, so I don't want to show you that, but I'm trying to be careful and just show you. And these aren't stains. Those are actually seashells embedded in there. Um, I thought the white spots were not seashells, but then upon closer look, they are. And yeah, so guys, this was such a hit for $150. This is the table of my dreams. I could not, I mean, I've been searching high and low for the right table for this space. And this is it. I mean, this is it. Okay, so I wanted to share this hack that my husband does when he's installing lights. This is a little bit, a little piece of the coat hanger. He ripped it right off. And this is gonna help for those that are needing like an extra hand to hold the light as you're wiring. So let me show you how he does that. He's gonna go ahead and put it right in that hole there. Any hole. Any hole actually, it doesn't matter. And then here is the Any head of the screws. fixture. And he will gonna... just hold it onto there. So therefore, now he can continue working with the wires. I'll just put so, it in a different place so they can see the yeah. wiring is now exposed. Right. I can hands free and, and then just you're hands free. So out. hope that helps someone.
and there she is i absolutely love her um and i got this at wayfair this was about 259 or 69 i will link it down below so i kind of wanted to show you what we were working with before um a very mid-century 1950s oops style glass with these extremely worn bulbs um yeah so that's what was there and i'm very happy with the replacement so i just popped inside this quaint this is a coffee shop guys I'll walk back to show you the coffee shop. My husband went to grab a coffee and I just went straight back here. I'm losing my mind. Look at this. Oh my God. This, this right here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God, the price is here. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. I don't even know where to look. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. Are we seeing the same? You're seeing that, right? You see that right there? It's just back up. Look at this baby. I can't. I'm gasping. <laughs> Wish you could see my face. Thank God you can't see my face right now. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what to look at first. Everything. Oh my gosh. What is this table? What is this? What is this? What is this? Look at this. What is this? <gasps> what is that? Why? even bought the house yet guys i hope you can hear me i'm trying to be discreet here look look at this stop okay i totally forgot to update you on the fireplace i am um, i pulled out the little metal unit that was there with the faux electric little blogs what's funny is that this is an actual wood burning fireplace but I don't know. So I used some crud cutter, <laughs> got my mop, hot, hot water, and I am mopping inside. I'm going to get ready to paint this with masonry paint, guys. I'm not painting the inside. I'm just going to clean it up as well as I can. And this is going to also be painted. So we'll see what it looks like after that. Um, but I just want to get this sort of orangey red color out of here okay guys i'm going to show you this is the paint i'm using highly recommend this paint if you're dealing with any kind of brick um masonry use this this is the stuff okay so now i'm starting to roll you want to make sure that you press in there grab a lot of product and really smush it in there for some reason my brick has these lines on there um so it's a pain in the butt oh got some splattering paint everywhere um i might have to take my brush and kind of if i miss anything that the roller can't get i will go ahead and get into those grooves but this is not your traditional brick these bricks have little vertical lines and i do have to fix corners here I think I'm going to just take, I can just take some like feather finish and just pour a little cement in there or I can just take joint compound too and form a little form there and let that dry. So, um, all right, well, let me go ahead and roll and I'll show you um, when I'm done, what this all looks like. Sneak peek of how it's going. Okay. Jk, 
We're not standing yet. We had to do all the prep work by taking the baseboards and the quarter round off. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> this is a documented uh, visual of what this room currently looks like. We just, well, not me, but my husband went around and fixed scraped off all the loose chipped paint we're getting ready to plaster in here um we did this floors and so this is kind of what it is right now we have not stained it or um you know sealed it yet but still a lot more work to do we have to put a windowsill here um so it actually is a good idea that we decided to do the plastering on the walls because it needs it so I'm excited. I have a color picked out. There's a plaster. We have all of our trowels. And um, yeah, we'll probably hit this in the morning because um, we're really tired and it's late right now. Okay guys, we are gonna start the plastering of the walls today. I have this paint that I got from, um, what's the name of this store? Brothers? Walker Brothers. They are a local, um, kind of a hardware store. And the color I got is something like that. <laughs> it's like a creamy, taupey shade. And I'm going to mix it with joint compound and create a colored plaster. And we're going to start. And I'll show you what that looks like. I have my trowel ready. Um, we're doing some minor repairs around the floors where we were pulling and made little holes. So we're doing that first. And then I'll show you what the plastering looks like. Okay. So this is a first time for me, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna just start with a little batch. It's always probably way easier to start with a small batch than to get all of it mixed in. That way you can kind of um, adjust as you go. You really want this sort of still thick. So what I'm gonna do with this is pretty much, <laughs> what I'm gonna do with this is pretty much tint this. Um, and then just go ahead and do my spackle. So this is kind of like what I'm going for is more like a plaster lime wash look. So we'll see, we'll see how this gets achieved. So stay tuned. So this is how I'm mixing paints inside. I'm just gonna get it all until there's no more white. I'm just gonna mix it. <clears throat> So here we go. This is the right way. This is the right tool. So you want to just take it, push it along. You don't want globs. Kind of just want to make it nice and smooth. There we go. Kind of keep it like a sweeping motion if you can. So I want to make sure that I cover all the ubus on the wall. Brief update, guys. So this is the plastering mixed with lime wash fail. Um, the colors are completely inconsistent. I had a little helper here last night. My friend's son came in. So that's what that's all about, that big white spot there. But um, so what I have decided to do is to finish all the plastering, which I am doing on this wall and this wall. And then I'm going to just paint the wall because this is not turning out the way that I wanted it to be, and um, it could look a lot better. And honestly, that is not the color I chose. I don't know if anybody can tell me um, why this color turned into that color um, when it's originally this color. Maybe I picked up more tint in the can. I'm not sure what's going on, but I took 10 steps backwards with this project. So hopefully we will fix this today and get some new paint. I am working in between projects and I wanted to share with you the update of what's happening in the bedroom. But I wanted to share with you, um, I'm painting right now what was the disaster of the lime wash. So this color was unexpected. I actually picked this color out in the white sort of profile. And why it's like this, it's a beautiful cappuccino cafe latte shade, which is fine. I'm rolling with it, but it's, it's probably about three shades way darker than what I anticipated, but nonetheless. So I plastered the wall. I was going for the mixed paint with the plaster type of look and do sort of like this Italian 
um, plastering with the color, and but then the color was just inconsistent everywhere. Um, it does have fresh plaster, so the walls are fully plastered, um, which is great. And I'll show you, that's where I stopped. And behind me still needs to get done. And yeah, so this is this is the room, this is the situation. And um, the color's pretty cool. So I'm gonna hit it with the brush on top once I'm done. And some people do the trimming first. I like to do the trimming at the end. I just wanna get all of the major color on the wall and then I go and do all my trim work. That's just what I do. But, all right, okay for now, I'm going to get back to painting and update you once it's all finished. Okay guys, so here is the bedroom walls fully finished. They are plastered. Um, we still need to, that's a shadow. <laughs> but that's kind of like more of the indication of the color is that lighter color, um, just like that. Today is furniture delivery day. Guys, I ordered this from World Market about three weeks ago and it's finally here. I'm excited. I'm gonna have an official living room today. We do have our floors completed just in the living room, so that's good. We still have baseboards and trim to do, but that's a whole nother day. Lots of painting still to do, but excited about the furniture and excited to show you so you can hear the truck backing up now i'll be right back okay the gang's here let's get unboxing so i just got my shipment from floor and decor i already unpeeled it then i was i just remembered to take the camera out to show you so this is this is what's going up on as my thought splash i'm excited to show you guys okay so here is show you this looks like they are <laughs> bricks guys these are rocks but <clears throat> here let's see there's two so they are fairly thin um yeah so lots and lots and lots of mortar um and it's gonna go up in our kitchen i cannot wait for this <laughs> 